Hi, welcome. My name is Tim Hahn. I'm a product development engineer here at Advanced Cooling Technologies. Um, I'm going to talk today about CCHP groove structures and extrusion types. Um, so the grooves in a CCHP are on the inner bore. Every CCHP type has a bore with these grooves built in, and that's, um, that is the wick structure that carries the working fluid along the pipe. So on this side, we have just the um, plain round external shape. We have a single flange CCHP. We have dual flange CCHPs. We have different configurations of flanges in different directions. Um, this is just one example. We can do them with no flanges. Um, we also have some that are dual bore. So this has two grooved bores in uh, built into the extrusion, and that might be used for redundancy purposes or uh, for extra load carrying capacity. So the reason you would use a dual flange is if you need your evaporator to be on one side of the heat pipe and then your condenser on the other side of the heat pipe. So along the length, you can cut out, you can cut out these flanges at the evaporator so that you have only this flange for the evaporator. And then on the other side, you might cut out those flanges for the condenser um, so that you can have opposite sides um, and bends along the way. So you might use the dual bore extrusion if you want redundancy or if you need extra load carrying capacity um, along the length. And then you might use dual flanges um, if you need the condenser and evaporator to be on opposite sides. Here we can look at how we cut away the flange along the length, and then we cut one side of the flange at the evaporator and one side of the flange at the condenser. So here the top flange is kept, and here only the bottom flange is kept. Um, and we can do that with um, quad flanges or perpendicular flanges, uh, so those can be on any sides. So we have a variety of extrusion types and sizes that are meant for different loads um, and different uh, mounting orientations. And so uh, this is just a few examples here. Um, but one other example would be the dual bore can be done with dual flanges as well. Uh, we also have a catalog of all of our different sizes of extrusions that are pre-qualified. Um, so there are different size bores that all have the groove structure in it. Um, that we have all of our data tested, qualified, and they've been flown. Um, and so those all have heritage. And we can, we can change the flange structure on any of them uh, while keeping the bore the same. Uh, but we can also do custom bores, um, anything custom in the extrusion can be done, uh, but if you change the size of this bore, or if you change anything about the grooves, that would change uh, the qualification. So thanks for joining me, and reach out to ACT if you would be interested in talking about your thermal needs, um, and having a look at the CCHP extrusions that we offer. Thank you. Thank you.